everyone, it's Caitlin from Caitlin's Crafts, and today I'm here with another clay tutorial. And this is probably like the most simple clay thing I've made. It's a cute little rainbow. It just goes red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Um, I know you could probably find much better rainbows. You could probably, uh, other tutorials, probably even ones with little clouds on the bottom. Um, really anything that's probably better than mine, but mine's nice and simple. And yeah, so the colors you'll need are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and purple, obviously. And this is a super simple design. It doesn't take a lot of clay. And you will also need glaze and a paintbrush. So gather your supplies and we will get started. Real quick, I turned my lamp off so you can kind of see it better. And I this is the red I'm using. It's just a little bit of red and it's a normal shade. So I'll show the rest of the colors and everything in a second. Okay, now with my light back on, I just have a normal orange, yellow, green and this one I actually mixed like three different greens together because I only had a tiny bit of each so I figured might as well make a big one blue and my newest purple I just bought it is called turnip so I will open this and then we will free up get started grabbing your first color roll it out into a ball And then once you have it into a ball, it doesn't have to be perfect. You can see my shape right now is really weird. Just roll it out into a, um, well, it doesn't really matter if it's thin or thick. really depends on how you want yours to be. This one, I made it actually pretty thick. I'm just going to kind of, like, measure, I guess, off of this the size and everything because I really like how this one turned out so this one will just be a small a tiny bit sorry more smaller and then once you made it um, I actually just need to pull it out okay you can set it aside and then do your next color now I'm not going to be talking because I will fast forward um, all the way to purple and I will be back in a second So I have all my colors rolled out, and I will try to fit them all on here if I possibly can. So you can see all of the colors. Doesn't really matter about the length right now. Um, so this one is kind of thick. I'll fix this real quick. There, I'm actually going to rip a bunch off of it. That's good. So what you do is grab red and just shape it how you want it. So that's how I do mine. Grab your orange and put it in just like you did. And of course, it's going to be smaller. My end every time will be longer. We can cut that off later. I will show you. Then with the yellow, do the same thing. And every time, every single time, your pieces will get shorter, obviously. Green. Okay, sorry, I had to pause because I didn't like how thin my green was, and it looks better. I'm just going to do it a tiny bit. Okay. So I'll just put it right there. Alrighty. And then blue. This one is a bit thin compared to it, but I don't really have a lot, so I didn't want to use it all. And then I'm just going to push these out of the way. And then purple. 
Okay, so then you get a cutting tool. I just remembered that you need one. If you have a clay blade, you can use that. Remember, you need your parents' permission to use something like this. So all you have to do is line everything up and then just slice right through. mine it looks pretty cool um this is what they both look like side by side this one's bigger um i don't know how it got that much bigger but i don't really care it really looks nice so now according to the instructions on your clay packages cook the clay um if you want you can add an eye pin i am not going to though because uh I don't really think it needs it because I'm not going to be attaching it to anything because it's a bit too big. But do that. All you have to do is put the um, eye pin right wherever you want it. So you can use glue if you would like. But cook it and then we will continue. One last reminder before you bake it. Make sure you push it together. Just not a lot though. That way you don't ruin it make it like not as curvy but make sure you push it together some that way it doesn't fall apart because you can see here that it's pretty together like if you go like that of course it'll fall but just put it right in the oven nothing will happen hopefully I can't say I'm 100% sure nothing will happen I mean I have done things like perfect and it looks all good put it in the oven take it out looks awful but now bake and then I'll be back in a second. Okay, so I just finished um, baking this one. It's really hot right now, so I'm not going to really be touching it just yet. But uh, this one is bigger. If I put it on top, they look the same, but yeah, it's really hot. But it's not, like, exactly the same. It's pretty close. Um, I honestly like them both. Uh... So yeah, I just remembered that I didn't grab a paintbrush for my glaze to glaze it on. So I'm just going to be using a Q-tip and I couldn't grab a um, paintbrush because my mo they're in my mom's room and my mom's in bed right now. So yeah, um, and then this is what the back looks like. It looks pretty nice actually. Oh, um, one last thing. This red is a lot lighter than this one. This one turned out darker, but it might make it look a bit lighter after I use the glaze. And just so you know, I use Sculpey 3 gloss glaze. So if you have to, like, pour it on, you don't need a lot of glaze. Like, pour it out. I just have to dip whatever I'm using in. So all you do is you dip it in, and then you just lightly rub it all over and this is after you bake it so it doesn't look great right now like with all the glaze i'm gonna fix it in one second i'll actually do that now off camera okay well honestly now both of the reds look the same all the colors actually look pretty much the same besides the fact that I used a different purple. And I might have used a different blue too. I don't know if I did or not. But tomorrow I'm going to reglaze this one so it looks better. If you have an Instagram, I'll post it on Instagram whenever it's all done. So I hope you enjoyed this neat little clay tutorial. Um, it's really simple and doesn't take up much time. Uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. Um, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Ha have a nice day and weekend.